Good morning, everyone. I'm Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes, and I don't know about you, but I need a little inspiration today. I seriously have the hardest time getting my butt out of bed, if I'm going to be honest. Um, it might be more than just a card, so I don't know, but we'll see. I figured you could join me on my card search, or not that, that's not right. Um, I haven't had coffee yet either. My search for inspiration. There we go. That's what I was going to say. All right, let's see. Who else needs inspiration today? Regardless of your situation, let's just see what, what the day holds. Oh. <laughs> well, it's fitting. <laughs> We have Angel of Belief. Believe. Believe that you can do anything you want to do. That you're capable of anything. Um, and at the bottom we have decisions. So I feel like, I don't know if any of you are faced with decisions today. I don't know why I'm putting that back. But I... I'm faced with them every day. Let's see what Believes has to say. Oh, ha, huh, I just opened right up to it. You have received this card because your angel of belief has heard your questions about life after death. This one's going to get deep. At times, do you have questions about what will happen to you once you leave this earth? Do you worry whether or not your belief is strong enough to connect you to the angelic and spirit realms while you are upon the earth? Have you lost a loved one? Do you question whether or not your loved one is still part of your life, even though you know they are no longer amongst the living? Your angel of belief is here to reassure you and to ally all of your fears about what happens to you or your loved ones after life ends here on earth. Everyone is welcomed with open arms into the spirit world after their transition from this life into the next. Your angel of belief wants to let you know that once a loved one crosses over to spirit realm, they will be safe. They will be in safe hands during and after their transition. During your time of grief, your angel of belief will be by your side to assist you while you become accustomed to life after your loved one passes. Your angel of belief will help you to pay attention to many signs and symbols from your loved ones to let you know they are safe and well in spirit in your times of need and during your triumphs and challenges. <coughs> Excuse me. Once a loved one crosses into, sp into the spirit realm, it doesn't mean that they have stopped loving you or being part of your life. Your angel of belief will give you all the support and strength you need to believe. So I don't know if anyone out there has lost somebody recently. And maybe they just needed that no. encouragement um, or enlightenment, I should say, to know that they're not alone. We are never alone. Um, and sometimes it's really hard to see, especially when you're going through... The grieving process. Um, this is not the direction I was thinking it was going in, but it does make me feel better when knowing that I could have, you know, given somebody some sort of inspiration. Because even though I was going to do this little mini thing about my day and try to incorporate it into everybody else's, it's not really turning that way. Um, but I do still want to pull a card or two to see what the day is going to kind of bring. So if any of you are going through that, um, I'm really sorry. And I hope things get easier for you. I know they will. And I know it's really hard to see that sometimes. Oh, okay. Well, those ones went crazy, but we have Ace of Pentacles. Let's see. This one always looks similar to me, except this guy's going out to work, like, doing his job, getting his coin. And here, I feel like 
he already has it, or she, I just, I don't know why I said he, but, um, well, my day is going to consist of work, probably like most other people's, getting that coin, could be a new endeavor too, maybe you're going to start something new, change it up a bit, um, I keep seeing this too, the Eight of Cups, walking away from a situation, thinking about walking away from a situation, so somebody could be thinking about, I really feel it's just, yeah, but, well, some of you might be walking away, and others of you could just be still in contemplation mode, walking away from a job, I mean, it could be a relationship, but this is, we're going for daily energy, which can, which can span out over the course of a few days to a week or whatever, um, because time is kind of irrelevant here, but this is soon. Maybe somebody wants to sneak away. Maybe that's me. Hmm, let's see. What are we walking away from and why? Well, we have the Five of Pentacles. This person has been left out, feels alone, poverty stricken, maybe lost some money, but this is gaining money or having enough. He's inside the church, but to me, doesn't seem very successful. He's kind of stressed out looking like maybe somebody wants to walk away from their current job because the money's not even worth it. It's like, yeah, this is my stability, but I don't like being stressed out. And we could have the belief card up here because you need to believe in yourself that you're going on the right track, so if you do make this choice to walk away, you're gonna be okay, um, that money will find you kind of thing, you just have to have faith, I feel like guides are playing a big role in this, and, um, helping guide you, you know, doing their guidey work, um, and then we have the Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. She's stable. She's secure. She has the money. She can do this on her own. This could be starting her own business as well. Hmm. I will say this is fitting for me. I don't know how many of you it is fitting for. Maybe we're all, um, not all, but maybe some of us are kind of veering down the, a similar, oh yeah, a similar, a similar path, I can't talk today, my gosh, I need coffee again, yeah, somebody's rowing away, they're rowing on out of here, because they're sick of the crap, they've been hurt, they feel betrayed, and then we have the devil, dun dun dun, so it could be a Capricorn you're dealing with, or it just could be a toxic environment. So if it's not a job, maybe you're in a relationship and that person is your sole provider and you're scared to leave because you know that you're secure. Your kids are taken care of, you're taken care of, the bills are taken care of. You don't want to leave that security, but you also don't want to stay with that person. Um, <clears throat> very well could be a job or a relationship. I think it's two stories. I think for some of you, it's a relationship the security aspect of it, and then for some of you, it's work-related. Um, this is going out on a new venture. Let's see. Well, I really don't need any more of those. I will do... La, 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 let's see. I had it in my head. Okay. I haven't done these. Let's do a, a fatty card. See what the fairies have to say. I can't remember what this deck is called. I'm being so goofy this morning. I feel, oh my gosh. You know, like last night before I went to bed, I was so tired, so overtired that 
every little thing I said just made me laugh. It, like me and my sister were having a serious laughing fit to the point where my face still hurts right now from laughing. I mean, that's not a bad thing. Laughter's awesome. And maybe that's why I actually got my butt out of bed in a better mood today. Um, <laughs> but I'm telling you what, my nephew says the funniest things. He kills me. Um, we have winter. The answers to your prayers and affirmations are fully realized in the winter months. I don't know where you guys live, but is winter here in New England? Um, I might be giddying on up out of this place. No, not here. Um, your desire is within reach. Let's get one more, please. So even if this reading doesn't resonate with you and you're happy in love and happy in life and, and happy with your career and everything's going great, um, I hope you get some enjoyment out of my stupidity because, you know, I can't be so serious all the time. And I don't normally act like this. I mean, I can be a goofball, but I'm normally more... This is how it needs to be. I'm a planner. Big time. I'm so, here I am talking about that. <laughs> it says be yourself. Oh my goodness. This situation calls for you to be your authentic self, which is the basis for your personal power. I'm pretty freaking powerful today. I got me a unicorn. <laughs> if that isn't perfect. Perfect timing. Oh, and they're both purple. And I have seriously been seeing, like, in my meditations, I've been seeing purple a lot. Um, I did look it up a few days ago, and it's a powerful color. It can bring in wealth and security and strength, um, protection, you know, like, going after what you want. This is fitting. This person is going after what they want. You just need to b believe. Um Maybe some of you are vegetarians, or maybe that's telling me I need to eat better. Because I don't really do that that well. I'm working on it. Um, all right. This is getting a little longer than I expected, but all right. I don't know. Is this action going to happen within the next... I'm going to say three days just because it's the third oracle card I'm pulling. Is this going to happen with it? Oh, and I got three of those too. And the number three, 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 three. Okay, that might mean something for somebody. I'm going to look it up myself too. Three, three, three. Um, there are no accidents. I'm just going to say. It's almost like the words that come out of my mouth are not my own, which... I mean, sometimes they're really not. Like, when I do a reading, I'll look at it and go, I didn't see that when I looked at that card, and it just comes out. It's so I know it's spirit coming in and telling me. Plus, I get the head crawl, my nose itches, and the whole nine yards. I have even had my door open, and nobody was there. I was like, are you kidding me? Well, it's not happening in the next three days. But 333 could mean something. <laughs> Or it's not happening for some, and it's happening for others. So, because we have yes and no. Okay, I'm going to pull one more. It seems I'm a jab a jaw. Alright, so this is going to happen, we'll say this week. I still want to say it within the next three days, but we got a maybe. All right, we have, look for a sign. Okay, well, there's more purple in that one too. And then there's something better. So whatever this situation is that um, we're in, we need to look for a sign on how to exit on out, pretty much. I feel like it's just gonna feel right when it happens. But we have some powerful, strong um, energy here. 
have faith. We got this. We got this. I kind of want to see what the 333 thing is all about. Let's see. Do, 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 do. It's a little quick blurb. Angel number 333 symbolizes aid and encouragement. Oh, that's fitting. It means that your angels are nearby, ready to help and reassure you that your plans are going well. It sends the message that your prayers have been answered. And seeing 333 means that whatever you requested is on its way. So, I don't think any of us should walk away today. Um, I think we should sit tight, look for that sign. Our loved ones are coming in to kick this in the high gear. To send us right down the path we need to be on. I like this daily energy thing. Um, I do it for myself anyways. And I went into this uh, as like... A collective kind of energy I didn't just say for me because it's really hard for me to read for myself I just kind of I do oracles for myself because they have words to read <laughs> um, I draw a blank with myself because my ego gets in the way but it's so much easier to read for other people so I kind of feel like if we do this together maybe a message will resonate with me if and with you um, if you like this let me know and I'll do it again. Maybe I'll do it again anyways. I don't know. Um, yeah. So I hope everyone has a great day. And if you're going through this crap too, just sit tight. It will get better. Just believe. All right. I'm off to work, my lovely friends. Have a great day.